Pomeranian, ole ole. Pomeranian, ole ole. Pomeranian, 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 ole ole. Oh my goodness, people! How how have we left with three points? I can't believe that we have left Stamford Bridge with three points in that game after that absolutely putrid second half performance, after us bottling another 2-0 lead. We went into 90 minutes, 3-2 down. We went into 97 minutes, 3-2 down. And we've still left with a win. I can't believe it. I genuinely can't believe it. Like, Cole Palmer. I'll bring it out here again. This man has been all that has kept Chelsea close to being Chelsea. This man has been the difference maker all season for us. This man, if he is not young player of the year, it's a disgrace. If he is not Chelsea player of the year, it's a disgrace. And you know what? I hope he gets golden boot too. The fact, the fact, one sec, that this guy... The fact that he's two goals off Haaland and we're 10th. We haven't even gone to the top seven once this season. is insane and it's a testament to how good he is. Because every single time that we are in a bad situation, it is Cole Palmer that steps up. Every single time. And don't get it twisted. The only reason why we've won this game is Cole Palmer and Man United's inefficiencies. They are the ones that have bottled this game. They have bottled it and Cole Palmer... Has just made the most out of every single opportunity he's got. He made eight chances in that game. Eight chances. Three goals. Gusto got the assist. So I don't think it was him. But he was the one who was constantly causing problems to that Manchester United team. And he was the only one that consistently played well. Him and maybe Gusto, although Gusto, to be honest, was partly culpable for the third goal. So I can't even really say him. Cole Palmer's the only one that stood up because, yet again, this team bottled it as soon as we conceded a goal. And that had me on Mars because we were so dominant in the first 20, 25 minutes. And then as soon as Caicedo and Badia Ashil have them bozo moments for the first goal, we yet again shit the bed. Yet again. Did it again. And then the third goal comes in like we were getting cooked by Anthony. On the left-hand side. Ball gets played across the box. Badi Ashil, like, he was basically responsible for all three goals. To a point. Had an absolute disaster class. Him, Caicedo, um, De Sassi. I saw De Sassi celebrating tackles after making mistakes leading to the chance. It was an absolute mess. And then we won. Because United fumbled it. The number one thing Ten Hag should not have done at a winning position, was bring on Mount. Why would you do that when the fans are already silent? The fans are already leaving. Now you've given them a reason to get up. Now you've galvanized them. Now you've got them a reason to get up. Why have you done that? And look at the result. Matueki, finally brought on by Pochettino with like one minute left to the game, gets a penalty. Should have been brought on 20 minutes earlier. The subs from both sides were an absolute joke. Ten Hag subs stunk. Pochettino, I saw him bring on two defenders at 3-2 down. What's that all about? What the hell is that all about? It was an absolute stink-off. Like, just a straight mid-off. This was an El Midico classic. Right in front of our eyes. But there was one, one talent amongst all of the scrubs. And it was him. And that was the difference. Cole Palmer hat-trick against Manchester United. Manchester City, thank you. Joe Shields, thank you. You may have just saved Chelsea Football Club with this transfer. Cole Palmer is the only difference maker in this game. Don't let anybody get you twisted into thinking it's anything else other than him. He is the difference. We don't win that game without him. We lose that game with literally anybody else. Thankfully, we have a chance to be two points behind United if we win against Sheffield United and if Liverpool beat Man United too. 
So let's hope we can capitalize on that. Let's hope. But we seem to make every game difficult. I still can't go into a Sheffield United game confident, but I know Cole Palmer's going to bag. That's all I can be guaranteed of because now he has a genuine chance of getting the golden boot. He's got a genuine opportunity. He's two goals behind Haaland. Two goals behind him already. It's time to act. Let's hope he does, but bruv, what an unbelievable end to that game. That's all that's going to be remembered, thankfully. But I'm not forgetting the dumb passes. I'm not forgetting the amount of times we got caught out on transition. The lack of control that we had after going two, after the game going to 2-1. It was a mess. But Cole Palmer saved us. Doing the biggest carry job since Eden Hazard in 2019. And at his age, it just shows the quality of the player that we have. Sign him up again. Give him another 30k than you were already offering him at this point. Because he deserves it. He completely deserves it. He has got us our first victory over Manchester United since 2017. We we're nearing a decade since our last victory over these lot. And we finally got there. Finally got there. Now go to Sheffield United and do it again. Do it again. Because I don't want to be back here a few days uh, in a few days talking about how we drew to Sheffield United. I don't need that. I really don't need that. So let's see what happens. But big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button. Subscribe. I can't believe we've won this game. Heads on Mars. But finally, I feel good talking about Chelsea Football Club. I still want Potch out. He's still an absolute scrub. But Palmer saved your job. You should be giving him part of your wages after that. He literally just saved your life. Because if you didn't win that game, you're 100% getting sacked. 100% getting sacked. I thought at 3-2, we're going to do the reactionary potch sacking now. Now is going to be what we're doing. Not in December, it's going to be now. Thankfully, thankfully Palmer saved us. I don't even care if it keeps potching the job. I want us to win games. I want us to actually climb up the table. Thankfully, we're now on page one. We're on page one. Let's go. But, boy, what an ending. What an ending. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Potch out to the world and back. And Liverpool, we need a favour from you. We just took points off Manchester United. We just tied them out. Now go to Old Trafford and get your revenge. Get your revenge. Do it for Jürgen. Do it for Jürgen and all that crap. Big up to everybody. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. And as always, potch out and up the channel.